Tony Nine, the Cleveland Monsters, and the Hershey Bears and Giants Center. J.F. Farube gets the starting goal. In the slot, drop back for Justin Scott, and he is belted. Mason Mitchell, the big head. Well, that shorthanded Cleveland's going to break it out to center. Gerby behind the defense, shorthanded breakaway. Pilon trying to get back. Gerby scores. Falling down, he chips it over the glove of Parker Milner. A shorthanded goal for the veteran and captain of the Monsters, Nathan Gerby. 1 0 Cleveland. Center to the right wing side. Waiting for the Bears. Barber. He fires and scores. A power play goal for Riley Barber. Goals in four straight games. He rips it past the glove, and we are tied at one. Gersich over the blue line to Walker. Bounce it to him in front. Backhand pass. Rolled on goal to right pad save. Ruby. Now they score. Scarbosa in front. Jams it through. 4.15 left in the first. Persistence pays off. It's 2-1 to one in Chocolate Town. Let's turn back to center ice. Abramov knocks it loose along the left wing. Long shot. Patsy Milner. Big rebound. They score. Well, that's one Parker's not going to like. Huge rebound. Kevin Stenlin gets a gift, knocks it in, and the rookie finds the back of the net. And it's 2-2 two two at 18.36 remaining in period two. That was not a hard shot. The physical nature, but no scraps or nothing big. It's a different game this day and age, and a lot of times it's an opportunity. The Monsters send it in front, and they score again. Clendenning beating Milner, a pass out from behind the net. The Bears lost the puck. And while we're talking otherwise, Cleveland takes advantage of a turnover. Clendenning gets his first of the season on that shot from the slot that startles Milner, and suddenly Cleveland has a 3-2 lead. His left, that's a fantastic save. Crosses shot off the body of Milner, gets behind him, falls down, it goes in. Oh, it landed on the shoulder of Parker Milner, rolled down his back and into the net. 9.40 to go in the second period. goal after it is Lucas Johansson and Barber will get it shorthanded ahead to Magda down the left wing side trying to get around Clendenning cuts towards the goal he's tripped that's going to be a penalty we'll see what the call is fans are booing they want the puck to come free and will Cleveland wins it and cross scores so Cleveland wins that battle and Milner is all over the officials right now they should have blown that play dead that's ridiculous they take over the game of the second period and win five to two to split the weekend here at Giant Center